Hi, my name's Adam from Ascent Data Cabling, and in this video, we're going to talk about connecting up your modem. Now, if you haven't done this before, it might seem a little daunting. There's a lot of ports and a lot of places where cables can go. Which one should it be? Well, that's why I'm here. So this is our modem, and as I said, you'll see a bunch of ports in the back of there. There's yellow, blue, grey. Other modems use different colours, which can make it a little confusing at times. This one uses blue and yellow. Let's go back to our black one. Now, this modem here is a VoIP enabled modem, which means you can utilize your phone over the internet if you've got that service enabled with your service provider. We're not gonna discuss that today, but the reason why I bring that up is you'll notice there are two gray ports on the side there. One has a telephone symbol, and the other one has an ADSL symbol. Now the one that you need to connect to is the ADSL signal. Now your modem might be DSL, it might be internet, but it will not be the telephone one. I can't stress that enough. It has to be the one marked ADSL or DSL. Now we take our wall cable and we plug it from our wall into the modem in the socket marked DSL. That will enable the modem to get the DSL signal and therefore connect you to the internet. If you plug it into the other one, nothing will happen, quite frankly. The other thing you need to be careful of is make sure you don't plug it into the yellow or the blue ones. It will fit. It's uh, designed to fit, but it is the wrong type of cable. And what that will do is create a short circuit. And that will not only prevent your modem from working, but it will also prevent your telephone from working as well in your house. It creates a short circuit and that creates a loop and you will have no dial tone on your telephone. You've lost your phone. So whatever you do, make sure you plug it into the right port, which in this case is the one marked ADSL. It might be DSL, it might be internet. I'll also mention filters. Sometimes you will be asked if you have a filter fitted to your telephone. This is a filter. This is a double adapter filter. One end there, which is where you plug into the wall. The other end here, one is for the modem and one is for the telephone. Now the filter is actually for the telephone, not for the modem. The modem doesn't need it. The telephone needs it because the ADSL signal runs at a much higher frequency down the telephone line and that can interfere with your voice calls. So the filter is specifically for your telephone. If you are only plugging in a modem, you do not need one. You only need it when you plug it into your telephone. Now again, fairly straightforward. We plug our wall socket cable into the section marked line. It might also be marked wall. And then we plug our telephone cable into the one marked local phone. It may be marked just phone and then we connect the other end of that to our telephone and we have a working phone service. That's it for today. So we've talked about connecting our modems and also talked a little bit about ADSL filters, what they do and how we connect them up.